Hello everyone, I am Brother Zana Devi. This is Biblical Sexual Purity. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, BS Purity TV, and follow me on social on our social media platform, Biblical Sexual Purity. Visit my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com. I have a question I want to ask this day. And the question is, who is the strongest man uh, a lot of people think when they have all the education in this world they become powerful and some think that when they have political power they become powerful some think that when they, they will have wisdom knowledge is power they become powerful some think that if they have physical strength they become powerful but i want to ask who is the strongest man we have someone in the bible called samson he had so much power he killed hundreds and thousands of people even with physical strength but he was killed by the tricks of a woman and also we have uh, Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived. If you look at the Bible, the books written by Solomon, Saxon Solomon, look at Proverbs, you see so much wisdom in those books. But this man, at the latter part of his life, though he repented, he failed God to a great extent. He fell from the wisdom that the Lord gave to him because of women too. Uh, we've seen diplomats, politicians, a lot of people failing from, uh, even falling from their height. And I begin to ask the question, who is the strongest man in this world? My little conclusion, I may be wrong, but this is my conclusion from now, for now. Having looked at the world and different kind of things that are happening in the world, and I have this strong conclusion that the strongest man in this world is the person that is able to conquer his own self. Somebody that is able to conquer his own self. A lot of people uh, who've seen warriors conquer nations, see warriors conquer the enemies, but some fail to conquer their own their, themselves. Uh, Samson actually conquered the foolish things, but there was a problem in his life. He failed to conquer his, himself. I mean, when I say himself, his own desire, he was not able to rule over himself. He could not have enough self-control to control his desire, his passion, and his lust. David was a very powerful man. He could destroy his enemies and all the battles he was so strong and victorious but by the time you look at the at Bathsheba the wife of Uriah he couldn't control his desire his passion and he fell into sin and somebody who the enemy couldn't kill not even kill his children he succeeded in losing four of his children because of the punishment that followed when he had sexual relationship with Uriah, with the wife of Uriah, Besheba, the wife of Uriah. Who is the strongest man? The strongest man is a person that is able to conquer his own passions. The person that is able to tell himself, sit down and is able to sit down. The person that is able to conquer his own lusts, the lust in his heart. Are you able to control yourself? Some people do. They are so powerful in the government. They are so powerful in the society. They have so much knowledge. They are so powerful in their workplaces, in their businesses. When it comes to the matter of man and woman, they are so weak. If you can't control yourself, if you can't overcome yourself, you are not yet strong. I think it is high time that we begin to look inward, look at our weaknesses and begin to overcome them. Now, you can't overcome them without the help of God. We need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, the anointing of God is about also self-control. It's about love, it's about self-control. So if you love God, you will be able to curtail your own flesh. If you love yourself, you will also be able to curtail your own flesh so that you don't allow your flesh to lead you into problem.
Some married men, some married women have gone astray having a extramarital affair. Some youths have gone astray. In fact, you see some people they, involving themselves in some illicit relationship because they fail to conquer their, their own bodies. Have you been able to conquer yourself? Have you been able to conquer the battle of the heart? Look inward. People may be seeing you as very strong. People may be seeing you as a powerful man. People may be seeing you as a powerful woman. You have a lot of knowledge. You do well academically. You do well even in your workplace. You do well in the society. Uh, as a businessman, as a businesswoman, you do well. But have you been able to conquer yourself? It's high time we look inward and begin to build uh, this broken parts in our lives and make sure that we become strong inside out and as we do this we will we'll find real joy in ourselves don't be like Samson who was able to conquer the whole the whole enemies and was yet unable to conquer his own passion a woman pulled him down and he was given a parable he, he actually brought a riddle and uh, that uh, what is sweeter than Honey, what is stronger than a lion? And the people told him, uh, uh, when they didn't actually answer this, his parable, they told him that what is sweeter than honey? Something failed to understand that something is stronger than a lion. And what is stronger than a lion is his own passion. Your own passion. Is stronger than a lion. He could kill a lion, but he couldn't kill his passion. He couldn't kill his lust. Whenever he saw a woman, he would lust after the woman. He couldn't deal with the enemy inside. And because he was unable to deal with him, his the enemy inside, he couldn't deal with the enemy outside. And he failed. Let us look inward. Thank you. Share this message to someone to watch it. And also visit my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com. Once again, I'm Hosanna David. Visit and share my videos to someone. It, you could just save somebody. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.